Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. And if you are wondering what Power BI is all about, maybe you're new to Power BI and just wanna know the lay of the land, this video is for you. Let's go. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, what is Power BI? Where did it even come from? Power BI is a interactive reporting platform, right? So data analytics, business analytics, all of those buzzwords that you've heard, that's what Power BI is all about, working with your data and getting the right answers very quickly. In fact, the mantra of Power BI when it first came about was five minutes to wow. And it's true. Now, the actual history of Power BI, it goes back, Microsoft's been involved with business analytics and business intelligence for a long time. We've got reporting services, analysis services, all of that came together as the roots of Power BI itself. Microsoft Power BI is a cloud platform. For the sake of this video, we're gonna stick with that. There are some on-premises options, but let's talk about the cloud platform itself. You may be thinking, well, you know, what kind of data can it actually handle? It can handle everything from just your simple Excel file all the way to massive data amounts. If you've got data of any size, Power BI is an option for you. And security is also very important. I've got a link down in the description below to the Microsoft Trust Center where you can go check out all of the certifications that Power BI actually has from regulatory and compliance perspectives. So if you're worried about that, check that out as well as the security white paper. There's tons of great information there. Okay, so the actual journey of Power BI, you're gonna come at it from two different ways. Either one, you're actually creating those reports or shaping the data, working with the data, authoring the reports themselves, or you're coming at it, you're just consuming the reports, right? So you're using those reports to actually make business decisions with that data. Let's look at the authoring piece first. From an authoring perspective, you're gonna, your journey's probably gonna start with Power BI Desktop. This is a free download from powerbi.com. You can get going. If you are on a Mac platform, check the video I did a long time back. It is still applicable. It talks all about your options if you're on a Mac versus a PC. So definitely check that out. But to begin that journey, you're going to need to get some data, right? And Power BI can connect to a bunch of different data sources, whether that's Excel, SQL, relational databases, cloud sources or services that you use like Salesforce or QuickBooks, or maybe it's just an API that you want to go get data or even a web page. You can scrape that. Tons of options. And when you don't even know if it's even available, or maybe you don't see it in the list, check out the ODBC or OLEDB providers. Those are always options that you can go and connect to your data. After you've got your data, you're gonna wanna clean or transform that data using Power Query. And this is about massaging your data, right? Getting it in that right format. If it's not already done at your data source, you can do that transformation with a lot of different actions inside of Power Query to really get your data in that right shape as you pull that into Power BI to make sure you can get the most out of it. Once you've got the data in Power BI, then you're gonna wanna do some additional modeling steps Steps just to tidy things up to make sure everything is actually right, whether that's, you know, hiding fields from the report view because they're just not needed for actual reporting to creating measures in DAX. Those are going to really bring your data up a level to really make that data shine inside of Power BI. And I will tell you that the modeling step is super important. Typically, a lot of conversations I have and a lot of videos you'll see on this channel, it's all about optimization and making that data work, especially at scale. If you're working with a little bit of data, maybe tiny data, it may not matter. But if you're going at scale of data, modeling step should not be overlooked and you should absolutely spend a lot of time there. All right, so once you get all of that data shaped and modeled correctly, you're gonna wanna build your awesome some visuals, right? So it's as easy as dragging and dropping, learning the clicks and being able to pick the right visualization for your data, bringing that data in and then laying it out and keeping in mind things like accessibility and just the story that you wanna tell with your data. There's a wide range of visuals to pick from and also there are AI visuals to even take it beyond the normal visualization. So like key influencers and the decomposition tree and things of that nature. So definitely check those out. Once everything's done, you're gonna publish it to the Power BI service that's up in the cloud, and then people will be able to consume that report, share it, all of those great items. Now there is licensing that comes in here, whether it's Power BI Pro, premium per user, premium capacity, there's a ton of different options. We won't get into that in this video. There are other videos we have that talk about this, but just know that you will need to be mindful a little bit about that when you wanna to go to share out with other folks. There are 
some implications there that need to be accounted for. You could take advantage of integration with Microsoft Teams. There's a personal app that's available there, as well as just adding a tab in your channel and also just, you know, quick link embedding inside of chats themselves. You also have a ton of embed options with inside for reports and dashboards, whether that's secure embed, publish to web, actual full on Power BI embedding. You can do a lot with those reports to put them where they need to be. And you can just share a report inside of Power BI and you can do that with internal users in your organization or external folks. So maybe they've got like an outlook.com address or a Gmail address. You can share reports with them as well. Again, with all of those options, just be mindful of the licensing that may be required for those items to work successfully. All right, so that's coming at it more from an authoring perspective, but from if you're just consuming reports and you just want to get the most out of Power BI, just be aware that there's concepts of like a workspace versus an app. Those are different ways that you can consume your reports and dashboards. And those are also different ways that you can share as well. Maybe you're a consumer and you want to share this with another colleague. That's where you would go to do that. Inside of those workspaces and apps, you are also going to be able to work with those reports and dashboards and interact with the reports, explore your data a little bit more, create bookmarks and customize the report for yourself or personalize it for yourself. And then also there's you know, the mobile app. So you can even on the go, you can connect to your reports and explore those reports on your devices, whether it's your phone, your tablet, what have you. The other great benefit of Power BI is the speed of the cloud, right? So Power BI has been known for fast updates, regular updates, Power BI desktops updated once a month and the actual service is potentially updated weekly. There's always new stuff coming out and you can check out the Power BI blog for all of those great announcements and releases that are Done. All right, that's a ton of information, but where do you go next? So this YouTube channel has a ton of videos covering different features, looking at different topics, as well as answering your questions in live streams. So be sure to subscribe to get all of that information and stay up to date. Also, if you are beginning your authoring experience and you want to take it to the next level, we have a blueprint course available for you that will walk you through in a lot more detail. I also have a bunch of links down in the description below for different resources, whether it's documentation, the learn platform, the community site and other items. So check out the links in the description below. Right, let me know in the comments below if you have other questions. Also, just congratulations on beginning your journey with Power BI. Hopefully you get a lot of value out of it and it takes your organization to the next level. Level. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching, keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.